it that different communities worship God in different ways? Okay. What if I were to say that he did give us the way to worship? The scriptures. Now, I'm not talking religion, mind you. Yeah. But now, I have the Bible, but now a lot of us, what we deal with is religion that we think is biblical. You know what that means? When we, t when we celebrate Christmas, people think, oh, that's biblical, but the people of the Bible never dealt with Christmas. Just one example. Same thing with Easter. So now, what we teach out here is the God of the Hebrews, the same one that came to Adam, the same one that came to Noah, the same one that came to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? What do you guys think about that God in history compared to others? Okay, you might have a good reason. Why don't you care about God? You weren't raised that way. So, so how were you raised? Just generally speaking. Agnostic. Okay. So now, as far as uh, how you were raised... I'm sitting here for five minutes. I can't figure out what... Okay, well, as I was sharing with him, and I'll get back to my line of questioning, what I was sharing with him is that we're out here to uphold the God of the Hebrews, yeah. which has one name, right? But now in today's society, you got Brahma, you got Vishnu, you got Shinto, you got Zeus, you got Jehovah, right? But now, who's, who's God? It's, it's supposed to be one. They say there's one God. But now, why is we calling them different names? That's, that's kind of the spirit. When you go into the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh. That means he is, he exists. That's his name. But now, when you read the Bible versus religion, he came for one people. Who's that people? This is why we're out here. And then this sign may help you out with these other signs you see down here. God's dealing with his people here, these 12 tribes. You guys remember the story of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. And uh, as you can see, we have the modern day name as far as what they're going by now. When we do prophecy in current events, we were able to determine who the 12 tribes are in these last days. Shortly understood as so-called blacks and Hispanics that were taken into slavery over the last couple centuries. So now that we discuss nationality and why it's important, what nationality are you guys? You're Colombian? Okay, what about you? Palestinian. Palestinian and U.S.? American. Okay. So you read the Bible, right? Because what we deal with also, too, is a standard definition. Right? What the Bible refers to as nation, what we will say today, Tom, mainly is ethnicity. It's not ironic because you look in the Greek, the word there is ethnos. Right? I got one right here. Ethnos, that's where you get ethnicity. Right? But now, in the, in the Greek, you'll see a word, barcelia, which we today call nations. But more better translated as kingdoms or rulerships. So you have empires, yes, but then you also have a nation of people that run an empire. You see? So, well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a uh, if it's suitable for you, but well, it, it depends because, especially in your case, because depend on the seed of your forefathers. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father's side because the seed determines the nationality. That's how the Heavenly Father maintain order. It's just like oranges, orange seed gives an orange tree. Same way the most have dealt with nations. You might be in the 12 tribes of Israel. You have the best chance of being one, but as far as you know on your father's side, are you of a Caucasian descent or a Spaniard descent? As far as your, your ancestry? No idea? Okay, well definitely check it out. Um, when you go into it, if you, if you are of native Indian descent, from those that are in Colombia, you will be of the tribe of Asher. They're one of the 12 tribes of Israel. And what we're supposed to do is wake up the 12 tribes first, but also put the word out to other nations as well. You mentioned you're Palestinian. I could assume that maybe you're Ishmael, the first son of Abraham. But when you go into it, your nation was a blessed nation. 12 princes will become 12 families. But the chosen nation came through Isaac and then Jacob, which is where, uh, the water brother, Isaac and Jacob, which is where you get these 12 tribes from. So this is one thing the Bible does that no other book does, no other spiritual book does. Which is why, one of the many reasons why we attest to the Bible. The Bible has the origins of all people. 
it goes it goes um, to the uh, origin of all different names as far as where they come from as far as their original name uh yes and just and just if you don't remember anything just remember this you can't escape your past you're either reaping the blessing or the cursing of your forefathers if you kept the commandments or broke the commandments let me read one more verse and then i'll let you go proverbs 14 and uh, i think it's 34. i appreciate your patience because this is the most truth you're going to get because your fathers more than likely are not going to tell you the truth your government or your kingdoms are not going to tell you the truth. There's a lot of lies being put out there about who's who and who. What belongs to who? With that land of Israel, you got two nations there fighting over land that isn't theirs. Even the, the president of Egypt, uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser, he said, you can never have peace in that land because you left black and came back white. He said that when he was president over Egypt. You see? So they know. Some of you know. I didn't read the verse. So read that. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalteth a nation. So it says righteousness exalted a nation, which is the commandments, the laws of God. Not Christianity, not Judaism, not Buddhism, the laws of God. There's no religion follows. Read. But sin is a reproach to any people. With that, I'll say a good day. Maybe that you're a, maybe you might be the one of the twelve tribes of Israel. But it says but it says sin, which is breaking the commandments, is a reproach to any people. Okay, so as you walk away, I'll let it be known that all wars that you see on the earth, all conflicts 